This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Getting started. Import image plus that Java from your backpack. Guys, like always, you can always go here and copy it if you don't have it, but I should. Backpack image plus that Java. If you do have to copy it, make sure that you, um, that you commit it when you're done so you have it later. All right. Write the method make grayscale by implementing the algorithm you developed in grayscale image activities guide. Right. So you might have a paper copy. You might have done the digital version of this, but here we are. I want to make a quick copy so I can make some suggestions on what to focus on when doing this. Okay. So identify the process. Yep. To write the method header. We have many examples of method headers. Uh, here's one, right? Here's one. So that we should have down. What information is needed in the next loop cycle? Create a variable to just store this information. And so what they're getting out here, what's going to be needed in our loop, we're going to need to iterate through rows and columns, right? So we're going to need to go through each row in each column. So that would be our for loop variables. And that's how we're going to transverse the arrays. Perform test one, test one, print all the variables. Print the loop variable. Outside of the loop, print the length of the list. Will there be an off by one error? So you do need to make sure that you are indexed at zero, like always, because our length goes up to the length of an array. So if there are 10 items in the array, the array length is 10. But there's only, since we index at zero, indexes through zero to nine. All right, inside the loop, perform the required task, update the variable that's storing the information. After the loop, process the return result. Processing is an optional step that may be needed for some algorithms. Okay, and so let's get going on this. Make sure you've referenced this and wrote out some pseudocode. Great thing about pseudocode, guys, it's pseudocode. There's not an exact science to it, but you want your logic clearly laid out if you want full points. Okay, let's head down here, and we have a bunch of examples from what we have already done. So now we need make grayscale, whoops, over here, and the make grayscale function. So we already know, and let me see, backpack, yep, we already know uh, how to iterate through an image pixels, because we've done it a bunch. Here is one way, here is another way. So instead of rehashing all of this, since we've done it more than once now, I'm actually just going to copy from image plus copy, and go back over here. Okay, I'll talk about it, because I want to make sure we understand what it's doing. Okay, so to be clear, what's going on here? We're starting with the rows, because our data, oh, they're not even letting us see it, of course, uh, our data pixels and image is in rows and columns of tiny little dots of color. So those tiny little dots is a row. And then each dot in that row is going to be its column location. So it's an X, Y uh, grid you could think of it as. And that's why we're doing pixels.length. That would be how many rows are in our image. So maybe there are 10. If there are 10, then this is 10. We start row at 0. We go up by 1 each time with row. And we start at loop. Bloop, bloop. Our for loop column is going to be equal to 0. Column must be less than the length of our current row. And that's what pixel zero is, except this is in the current row. Pixel zero will work fine. I prefer to do pixel row because that will be the length of the row we're actually on, just in case it's a jagged array. So we get the length of that row and we loop through it. Zero is fine. You'd earn full credits for that. And then we take our first pixel, pixels row, pixel column, and assign it here. Okay. So with that all said and done, we now need to actually be modifying those colors. Now, something I want to point out, guys, if we, navigating back to here, if we make everything the exact same color, right? So if I set, here, let me show you. Let's go ahead and we need to set a color. So we can use this as reference, image plus, and look, pixel, current pixel set to blue. So I'm actually just going to copy that, go over here, and paste it. Right. And current pixel, thankfully, I have that here and I'm going to set it to zero. Now, I want to do this for red and green as well. And I can probably find that over here, too, if I really wanted to. Hey, look at that. I'm just doing a control C or a copy and paste just for speed. All right. Now I'm setting all of these to zero. Cool. This is going to work great. This is not going to work at all, but I'd like to prove my point. Uh, instantiate the grayscale image. All right. So gray scale. 
gray image and equals new. And then what does this need? Do I need to give it an image? I need to give it a file name. So let me go ahead and look at my files here. Oh, asset manager. And I'll just use, oh, that's already too gray. <gasps> I love the doggo. We're going to use the doggo. Dog. Dogs are better than cats. I don't care what you say. And if you say anything else, you fail my class. Um, anyways, <laughs> JPG, all right, JPEG. Okay, and now we're gonna, we're gonna need to draw it. So let me go ahead and do that. And we have my scene. Although the image isn't gray yet, so that's a weird name, but that's fine. I'm gonna start it from the top left, zero, zero. And then how wide do you wanna make it? You could just throw in like 500 or 450, because I think this is roughly 450. Uh, one easy way to do it though is to get the width of the screen. My scene bucket width. It should be. Here we are. Cool. And that should draw it regularly. Okay, so let's just check that out. We're gonna need to pause. Oh, no, what did we mess up? And by we, I mean me. Oh, what's it called here? Oh, okay. No, it's called Pixels. What's going on here? Oh, okay, we're gonna have to use Git Pixels, so that's fine. Since it's private, we're gonna access it this way. And this will just be a local copy of this. Okay, now it should go, hopefully. There we are, there's our dog as normal. And now we need a grayscale. First, I'm just gonna put a pause so it doesn't just flash and we never see him again. Pause, like one second, boom. And then let's go ahead and do Make the image gray, and then I'm just going to... I probably don't need a pause again, really, because that's the end of the scene. Bam! And this is what I expected, guys. This is what happens when you make it all the exact same thing. Zero. Or I can do a hundred, right? Ah, mister, it's just because you did zero, zero is going to be black. It doesn't matter. You can't just have it all be the same thing, because what that does is that's certainly a color, and it's gray. Oh, look, it's grayscale. Grayscale means it's more of a black and light look. So this is what you need. You need to retain a shadow, if you will, of the color. The way we would do that is we need to take each color and turn it to a version of gray. So my favorite approach for doing that is using something such as an average. So I would do int average equals, and now I'm going to go ahead and get the colors. And I know I can do this. We could reference right here, you know, get, oh, that's get pixel set red, set blue. Well, I thought we did, but here, documentation, pixel, and we should have get color right there is what we're going to use get color so boom boom and i'm going to go ahead now and say average is going to be equal to uh, uh let's see and not get color let's just get blue get red so on boom average so maybe if you want to clean it up again i bet you could do int total equals boom and then i'm just going to say total so all the colors combined over that something like this either way is fine and now let's use the average here for each of these colors and let's see how that works we do wrong ah semicolon my arch nemesis and kapow so that will actually work because each color is going to be uh turn into gray, right? We're not just blanketing to one specific color. We're keeping a quote unquote shadow of it and flipping it well to gray. So bam, bam, wacha. There's a few ways to do this. You could actually do this in line. I mean, you have a bunch of alternatives here, but looks good. Oh, the dog's cute even as a gray dog. Now the last thing, Ooh. Now, the last thing we want to make sure to do is commit this because we're going to use it later. So commit code, grayscale image, uh, I don't know, something like that. Boom, boom, and it is committed. Onward.